Hey guys, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check this video out today. So we're going to dive into the remote start and the departure schedule for vehicles with the latest operating system. So I drive 8.5 and 9. So a lot of times, whether you're picking up a car, it's brand new and it's just not activated yet, or you go into service and maybe they have to program something or something's going on with the electronics and they do what they do back there and you get the car back and just mysteriously remote starts not working anymore we're going to talk about why and i'm going to show you how to very easily get remote start back working again because it's just a simple switch the default has to be off anytime the vehicle is programmed it usually switches that stuff off a lot of different states in the United States has uh, idling laws, so you only can really use uh, this system if it is, you know, you're able to where you're currently located, which is why the default is off. So let's get to it. Very easy. We're going to go right into the climate. We're going to go right into the corner where it says preconditioning and where it says remote engine start. We're going to make sure start engine for climate control. This is toggled on. So you want to see that green. As long as you see that green, you know remote start is enabled. Now remote start, you can do this through your My BMW app, or you can do it from your physical key fob, whichever is more convenient. The advantage of doing it through the My BMW app, as long as you have connection to your device, you can do it pretty much anywhere in the world. Okay, you have that connection, it goes up to the servers, comes right back down, turns the car on literally anywhere, which is pretty cool. Now, if you are close enough to the car that you could use your key fob, you can certainly do that as well. So taking a look at the front of the key fob, look at the top there where it has a 3X. The reason that's there is to show you uh, what to do with remote start. I'm gonna take a look at the BMW emblem right there. You're gonna touch this three times, one, two, three, really quick. Don't have any pauses, not like not one, two, three. That may be a little too slow. So really quickly, one, two, three. Uh, you can turn it on, you can shut it off, you can have two different sessions of remote start. And what I mean by that is whether you use it through the app or the key, it's going to uh, activate the remote start function for 15 minutes, and then it's going to shut off. You can follow that first session up with another 15 minute session if you'd like. So maximum is 30 minutes that it will uh, climatize and do what it needs to do in here. There is a special program part of remote start that puts the front defrost on, the rear defrost on, you don't have to set the climate before you get out the night before to anything special. Car takes care of itself 100%. It knows exactly what to do, whether it's warm outside, cold outside. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All you have to make sure is that is green and that you know how to do it through the My BMW app or you know how to do it through your actual key fob. So please keep that in mind. Other things to keep in mind with remote start is if the battery in your key fob is significantly discharged, meaning you need a new battery in your key fob, it may not work from the key. Other things uh, to include would be if you have a pretty low fuel, that also may not work. It's not going to let you run out of fuel and get you stuck. So there are definitely some parameters there to make sure that you fully understand what exactly is going on um, at this exact moment in time. So. Uh, please make sure you check out your owner's manual to understand all of the uh, requirements of remote engine start. But it is pretty cool. It's a great system. Uh, it's not going to turn the heated seats or anything like that because heated seats need to detect the weight in the seat. And honestly, our cars warm up really, really quick. By the time you get in, the surface of your seat is going to be warm anyway. You're very likely not going to need heated seats because it's uh, pretty toasty. So keep that in mind. But oddly, the do the heated steering wheel does turn on. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, but that is remote engine start. Hopefully, that makes sense. Let's talk about the departure plan. That's right above it. Three different options. The first one is a one-off, and the two below it is a regular. So let's talk about what that means. So let's say for your regular schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you get out of work at a certain time. Tuesday, Thursday, you get out of work at a different time. And Saturday, you have a completely different schedule. So the one-off would be Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. That's kind of the idea of what that would be like. So if you were to check that off, 
it's then going to ask you to put in the departure time, check off the actual days that that's going to be applicable. And what will happen is at this time, the remote start function will be enabled. Same situation as before, if you were to do it manually, turns on for 15 minutes and then shuts off. If you want to follow up this departure plan with your own manual remote start for that second time, you certainly can do it because this is only going to run one time, one off for 15 minutes. So that's what that's going to do. Very, very convenient though if your schedule is uh, fairly consistent and you know that, you know, 4.30 every day you're out of work and you want your car warmed up. So what I would do is if you know you're going to be out walking to your car in the parking lot at 4.30 every single day, I'd back up 15 minutes and definitely at 4.15 or so, I would definitely have the remote start to turn on at that specific uh, time. So pretty cool that we have this in there. You can also manage your departure plan through your My BMW app as well for your convenience. Cool stuff. And that's about it. Hopefully that was uh, fairly simple to uh, get through. Uh, please make sure you check out the links below. Please also uh, know that the Amazon link down below is for the Chris's Beamers uh, marketplace. So any purchases made through there, Chris's Beamers does earn commission on, but really cool stuff in that marketplace, BMW products and accessories I use, and I think you would love for your BMW as well. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you can always stay up to date with the latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.